Basically, at least 10 security personnel, mostly police women, were injured when a mob pelted stones at them during a rally near Shillong Civil Hospital, demanding laws to empower the indigenous tribe. <laughs> to burst tear gas, shells to quell the 8,000 strong mob in the Meghalaya capital. The mob went out of control demanding laws to empower the indigenous tribe as per the police sources. Hey, come here! Hey! Come here! Hey! Come here! Come here! Hey! Come here! 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 Violence started minutes after the leaders of S and SBH announced that they were giving a month's time by the government. The mob started attacking the security personnel who were barricading the area to prevent the crowd from any attempt to storm into the main secretariat. Over 10 security personnel were injured in stole belting. <laughs> East Khazi Hills District SP M. Karkarang claimed. He said that the injured personnel were mostly police women and they have been sent for medical care. <laughs> I have uh, registered a case, a uh, uh, FIR has been filed with the, by the ADM and uh, we have been able to identify a number of those people and uh, it's a matter of time that uh, arrest and uh, further action will be taken. S and SBH leaders said that the decision to give a month's time to the government was taken in view of the fact that the village administration bill aimed at empowering village chiefs is pending with the centre and subsequently the assurance of Chief Minister to aggressively pursue with the matter. The front wheel shield of a night super bus of the Assam Transport Corporation which was carrying passengers was also damaged when protesters pelted stone as it was passing through the area. Inspector General of Police GHP Raju informed that 8 to 10 members of Human Tribe Youth Council have been identified as the main troublemakers. They have been identified through a video footage taken during the incident and FIRs will be lodged against them, he further added. <laughs> Thank you. 